That is kind of weird. I briefly was introduced to this uh, theory called uh, multi-universe, multi-parallel universes that are all linked together, similar to the theory of entanglement, where all the particles in our in the known universe are are interconnected. Well, there's a theory that's and it's beyond string theory. But it's a theory that there's other universes that are parallel with our universes that are entangled, that are connected, intertwined. And that whatever happens in this universe happens in those other universes and vice versa. So I'm just wondering also about uh, eternity. Because I know eternity is not, not part of material. It's immaterial. So... Uh, because it's forever. There's no time constraints. On, there's no time constraints on eternity. Uh, time is a physical. Time is actually a physical property. It's not etern- Time is not eternal. So we exist in this three-dimensional universe, but that we can observe. But what if we're already in eternity? Which I've heard that I've heard some preachers advocate that. We're already in eternity. We just uh, we're still stuck in these three-dimensional bodies in a three-dimensional universe, and so we can't see it, or feel it, or touch it, or or, or experience it until we are in that eternal state. So, but it's very interesting because uh, we may be already be in God's realm and not even realize it, and that's why. There's this thing called spiritual warfare because it's an invisible phenomenon. We really can't see it, although some people have and or they've claimed to see the spirits, the angels of God and demons. But uh, this uh, invisible world is, uh, the spiritual realm is, uh, we can see its manifestations acted out physically but we come up with, uh, you know, rational and natural explanations for it and theorize what causes it. And, but uh, I believe there's more than meets the eye, they said, more than, more than what we can see and observe. It's in the hidden realms, 